you're new to the channel, yes, this is not what it always looks like. So go back a couple videos, watch some of my older stuff. I do early releases. I do SB Dunks, Reeboks, Nikes, Jordans, all types of shoes and all types of different content. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Smash that like button, it does help the channel grow. And don't forget to hit that join button and become a member of the Kick Squad. And as always, leave all your comments below. So today's video, I will be talking about the Nike SB Dunk Low Street Hawkers that released on January 22nd. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is your boy, Wyatt, everybody's favorite. As you can see, things are looking a little different right now. My basement is under construction, so I'm working on a amazing sneaker room, a lot of different setups, a lot of new stuff that I'm gonna be bringing to the channel with me and my team. So be on the lookout for this new setup, and it's gonna be crazy. So before I get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to my bro, Migs for lending me this pair for the review, man. Make sure everybody goes down in my description right now and follows my boy Migs on IG. So the elements of this shoe are based off of Chinese cuisine and Chinese street food. Let's talk about it. What is your favorite Chinese food? I mean, let me know in the comments below right now. For myself, I would say chicken and broccoli, hot and spicy, white rice. You know, I can never go wrong with that. Uh, Matt, well, how about you, bro? I am a boneless spare ribs with a shrimp roll. Oh, you're fancy. Are oh, you fancy? Boneless spare ribs ain't that bad. They're, Sounds they're, like it. They're, they're delicious. They're Sounds delicious. good. And, uh, you know, old classic, like a general style chicken. General, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with like the fried chicken and with the hot sauce and barbecue sauce mix. Like, can't go wrong with any of that. Let me know in the comment section right now, what is your favorite Chinese cuisine? So let's start with the box. Yes, the box. So the sneakers app release did give you this colorful SB box. There was some special edition boxes also. So let's take a look at all that tag information right there. And the tag reads, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS. This is a size 11 and your suggested retail is $110. So they do give you two types of tissue paper. They do give you that all white tissue paper with this release. And also they do give you, it's like a menu. They do have different things on here. Noodles, rice, uh, Chinese hamburger, like all types of stuff that I never had before. Spicy crawfish, plain noodles, um, pretty dope hint that they added um, for this tissue paper for this release. You do get some stamping right there on the top of the lid. Also, you do get that green and white quality control sticker. And that is the box. So let's get right into it. To be honest with you, I have no clue where to start. This is the left shoe. On the front toe box, they do give you some shrimp printing right on that and like that canvas material. And then that toe box, they do give you that distressed suede in that gray. All white laces, they do come stock right into the shoe. They do give you an extra set of laces. One is tan and one is green. There's about 22 different Chinese elements on both of these shoes. I will list all of them in the description below if you guys have any questions, if you wanna know more about these shoes. Each color on this shoe, is representing some type of Chinese dish. So with that Nike swoosh, you do have that chopstick vibe right there that they did give you. Right below that, on the back heel, you do have that Chinese coin right there. Right on the back heel, you do have that Chinese logo that does stand for food. So let's talk about the right shoe. 
Um, this is a more leather texture shoe. The other one was more of fabrics and canvases and more softer materials. Let's start right with that outsole. They do give you that spicy yellow mustard outsole. White Nike SB right in the middle. If you look at the Nike Swiss, they kind of give you that same vibe that they did on like the Code Japan series. So such as like your Tokyos, your Midnight Navies, Biohacks, they give you that same type of silver metallic swoosh. So on the back, you do get that Chinese logo again, which stands for food. So right on that toe box, you do get that like bronze color. This does come with all black laces on the right foot. So all these different colors will represent the color changes from spicy to sweet, kind of going around the whole entire silhouette. So again, there is 22 design features that Nike incorporated with these shoes. I will list them below in the description below. Matt, I know you've been waiting for your turn, bro. What, what is your thoughts on these shoes? Entirely two different shoes. Dude, How do you feel them. about them? I love them. They are everything that I could want in a shoe. Um, first of all, they're SD dunks. So therefore they already have a warm place in my heart. And I just love anything that, that incorporates uh, you know, a unique culture or a unique thing you've never really seen on shoes before. So, I mean, you, you really nailed it. I, I like everything you said. I just love the thick tongues of a Nike SB. Uh, I love to see that portion of it. And for 110 bucks, man, God, I, I... Are you paying resale for these? Probably. Probably twice, one for me, one for me. So I think these are in the $600, five, dollar, five, high five, six. So five fifty for 10 and a half, at least last time I checked. Again, shout out to my bro Migs for lending me this pair for the review, man. Matt's clapping in the back. I appreciate all my supporters. They definitely help the channel grow and I just can't ask for anything more from you guys. So thank you all again. So that's a wrap on the Nike SB Low Street Hawkers. Let me know in the comment section below if you did get lucky and hit on these on sneakers or anywhere else, or if you're still planning on paying that resale to get these in your collection, let me know in the comment section below. So if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you can see all my upcoming videos and lives, hit that like button, it does help the channel grow. Don't forget to hit that join button, become a part of the Kick Squad family, and make sure you leave all your comments below in the comment section. And hopefully on the next video, you can see kind of what I'm creating downstairs in my basement for all the viewers and all the supporters. Thanks for watching everybody's favorite. I'm Wyatt, everybody's favorite.